This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Hey everyone and welcome. This is your co-host Crystal Jordan here with Be Honest and today we are missing Kevin. But that's okay because mm-hmm. we have a we have a, a guest co-host sitting in with us. We recovered yes. well. We did. We yes. did. We, we we bounced back well. <laughs> I just want to let Kevin know that I'm only here temporary. He we can just have got his, his job back. Exactly. Yeah. So we have Al Nuke Producer, filmmaker, extraordinaire Al Nuke sitting in with us Thank for Kevin. You. Thank. Well, first of all, welcome to Music Love. Thank Night. you. Round of applause, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, man? Thanks for having me. Thank you for dropping in. Definitely. We actually caught up a couple weeks ago at Rolling Out, mm-hmm. and um, you have a lot going on. Mm-hmm. You produce mm-hmm. one of the hottest producers in the business right now, Zaytoven, right. along with another producer. But tell us a little bit about what you have going on right now. Uh, well, in a nutshell, um, Al Nuke, I'm originally from Detroit. I've been in Atlanta shout now. Shout out to Detroit. Uh, definitely shout out Detroit. I've been out here for about 10 years now. Um, I manage Zaytoven, one of the most most prolific producers in the country right now. Also manage uh, Cassius J, which is a very hot up-and-coming producer. Uh, me personally, I'm a management. I am director. Mm-hmm. I am writer. Uh, actor and just I'm one of those go-to guys. I'm Mr. Make It Happen. He's a renaissance know? man. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a man's man. <laughs> renaissance man too. I like that. Well, we did, you know what we <laughs> talked about, which is why I knew that you and Be Honest would get along very well because Al is a self-proclaimed alpha male. Okay. We talked about, we talked about men that. and the fact that he feels like the alpha male is not, uh, people are, are afraid to acknowledge and appreciate the true alpha male. True. You know what I, mean? I think well, that right We're now dying off. And it's not. I don't even know if it's dying <laughs> off. If they're hiding because of all this mm. rigmarole that's going on, with, they're trying to scare you away from being mm. who you are because that can be offensive to some people, especially people who are trying to come out and say, "Hey." We're little, but we're somebody too. Right. You know, it, it, right. it's almost offensive. Yeah, when a man because you impose on them well, just by being of, alive. What is a, a first of all? How do we? How are we defining an alpha male? Let's, I'm sure it's probably different for both of us. Okay, well let's let's hear what, the definition. What do you, what do you think? Um, for me, an alpha male is a man's man, a man that can, you know, first of all. Uh, he can get up under the car if he need to. I like that. He can take the trash out. He pumped the gas. He don't believe in a woman pumping the gas. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's his house. He he's right. the uh, pilot. Right. You know? Right. Uh, he doesn't. He's not a feminine man. You know, right. so to speak. He's not an emotional man. There's too many feminine men. A man is just like your grandfather. Okay. How your grandfather used to be. Right. I wouldn't even say your daddy. I would say your grandfather. Okay. You know, and that that would that's a man to me. Only thing I don't look, like about granddad is nobody knew that dude, man. Like <laughs> he never said ten words. He'd come yeah, over to work yeah, yeah, and just disappear yeah. in the back room. But he always <laughs> had money in his pocket. He, I always, noticed yeah, that yeah, my yeah. grand my yeah. granddaddy will pop my pop pop. And then my granddad, they always just had money. Yeah, and I would go get some money. Yeah, but you didn't realize it was only $2. It was okay, kid, so I was a little kid. I was a little kid. I was in the 70s, though, 80s. Yeah. It was a little money back then. It was my I, 10 right now. I like your explanation. I would add, though, that alpha men have the ability to lead yes. without second guessing. I yeah, like that. That's you know good. What? That sums it up. That's good. I like that. sums it up. Because I think there are so many people who are now following what they've seen on social media. Mm-hmm. They're following on what they think. Their target audience wants to right, hear. Right. So I think that alpha males have the ability to to understand that there's somebody who wants something from them. But regardless of that, they have a plan in mind and they're going to continue with that plan. Right. Regardless. Right. I right. like that. Yep. And I, I, there's one more thing I wanted to add because I think that there's a there's an issue right now with a lot of guys that stick their chest out and say mm-hmm. they're alpha male. Mm-hmm. Real alpha males recognize that they're going to be other alpha males. Right. And they know how to navigate around other al- alpha males without there being an issue. Right. Fake alpha males get yeah. in fights and shoot. Yeah. And, exactly. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because yeah, they, they're not comfortable in their skin. Right. Versus real alpha male, males appreciate other alpha males and they have great dialogue. Right. right. I like that. Oh, yeah. great dialogue. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to the... Oops. You're fine. I'm looking forward to the dialogue today. We had Al on to talk about uh, a subject that I think 
a lot of us women have definitely uh, talked about in girls chats, but the difference between <laughs> girls <laughs> chats, yes, girl chats, being able to be faithful. What is the difference between faithfulness and loyalty, right? Because a lot of times we talk about, um, we know men make a big deal about women being loyal, right? Right. And women make a big deal about men being faithful. So we're wondering, is that one and the same? Can you be loyal to someone but still not be faithful? And yes. can you be faithful to somebody and not be loyal? So in my book, I'll just start yes. off by saying, in my book, they're kind of synonymous. Like if I'm loyal to a guy, I'm definitely going to be faithful to him. I don't see how I could be loyal to him. If I'm loyal to him, then that means everything I'm doing is in concert with what is best for he and I. I'm, you know, looking out for him. I want to make sure that he's okay. I want to help make him better. Like, I can't be loyal to a man and not also be faithful. That would just be but what if, a con- but, Wait a minute. But what if what's in concert to being to bettering you guys is you having to be unfaithful? What? Mm. So so you see, made this, the man. statement that no, it, it's in it concert it's if it's loyal and faithful. But what if that small unfaithful period or whatever right. has something to do with building a bigger togetherness right. later. I don't understand well, what that means. This is ridiculous, but we it talk... It is ridiculous. But hold on, not, no, not, not all of it. It's not typical emotional woman <laughs> <laughs> that, that clouds men judgment. What? You know, um, because he has a very valid point with what he's saying, but women don't even, can't even convey, you okay, can't let's, even understand but that thought. Explain it, explain oh, it. Oh, I was going to tell you the, okay. the ridiculous example, because this is not a real life, real okay. world example, right. but we were talking about the indecent proposal where someone offered you a couple of million dollars to have right. sex with them one time. That would build the family's generational wealth exactly. in one night. Yep. Right. So that would, that would be unfaithful, yes, but at the same time, that's also being loyal because now you've set up a situation. Right. So that's a ridiculous example. I'm but, okay with that one. If you remember, we did talk about that on the show, right. and I said I would have no problem with my man sleeping with someone else for well, then you had million then you dollars. Obviously so let's understand. make this no, but that's that's one chance in a million that that would have. That's not what's happening across America. Men are not getting propositions. You remember Hustle and Flow? Yes. Okay, so the white girl who was in Hustle and Flow, right? You remember how she was loyal, but she was unfaithful. I don't. Rem- I don't remember yeah, that. I don't remember. Explain that to me. But but really and truly, that happens every day. In the streets, like, do you realize as a man how many things that we have to do to create to to get to even generate money? And okay. a lot of those things has to go through women. All of them can't go through my nigga, man, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. <laughs> Some of these things got to go through women. But if we was to bring that in the household mm-hmm. and say we had to get this money somehow through this woman, not necessarily by sex, tricking, fucking any of that. It might right. have been a plug situation. It don't know what it was. Mm-hmm. We, you don't understand that as women. Is you went and talked to a bitch. <laughs> nah. it, that's the real. But okay, I but, mean, can okay. you curse? I mean, can yeah, you say yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that's the real. Okay, but I'll, explain to me how you could be loyal to a woman and not faithful to her, though. Because you, you gave a mm-hmm. lot of examples, but you said you may not sure. be fucking or tricking or sexing yeah. or whatever. So when does it come to a point where you are un- a man can be unfaithful and still be loyal? Because well, well, we know think- that's a street code as a nigga's real. If a loyal dude is, is appreciated, but how can you possibly be loyal if he's out? Here's the problem. Okay. I can, I can answer that for you. It's... It's bigger than that. The problem with women is you ladies don't understand that when a man say, I love you, just because I love you and I'm in love with you, Mm -hmm. I can still make mistakes. You automatically will say, well, if you sleep with somebody else, you don't love me. And that's not true for a man. You know what I mean? For Mm -hmm. a man, I can be physically in love with you, Mm -hmm. right? Mm Mm-hmm. But I still may make a mistake as I look at this person over here. It could be any situation that happened that that mistake happened. That doesn't take the love away that I have for you, willing to die for you, willing to protect you, willing to pay and take care of you for the rest of my life, willing to give you my all. But how can you be willing to die for someone that you can't even pass up some pussy oh, for? Oh, come on. That, yeah, that, it's, 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 it's so... <laughs> that, that, <laughs> those are so far away. Here's the thing, right? Loyalty has to do with all-encompassing life right. with each other. Faithful has to do with sex or sexual right. type situations. Right. Right. So that's really a small, small part yeah. of the big picture. Loyalty is from Everything. the top to the bottom. Right, right. right. So when he said he'll die part, for a woman, though. that's different than I won't cheat on you. Yeah, but have you ever seen? You like have that, you right? ever seen a woman that has really been hurt? Like, I'm sure both of you have seen that. <laughs> Why are you like, laughing, be honest? Because every woman be hurt almost. Anything right. hurt like, not really Y'all women cry at the drop of a dime. I'm talking about like the deep brokenness that you see in a woman when, a, when she's been cheated on. She didn't have any idea and she's really... Have you seen that? And she'd that? stay with him. 
and you caused it. Now, I'm saying, after, have you felt that way? Have you caused it and you see how the woman looks? What does that make you feel like? How can you really okay, be protecting was, her if you well, would subject her to that? Well, let me say this. Okay. In the same sentence. How do the woman feel when a man go out and bust his ass every single day and provide a different lifestyle for you where you don't have to do anything for it? I hate the fact that a woman can say, you can't stick your dick in nothing. You better walk straight, look straight. But at the same time, I want you to take care of me, give mm. me Gucci, Bally, this, that, Louis Vuitton, put me in the best flash of shit, but you can't make not one mistake. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Well, you're you acknowledging their mistakes. Take, That's a good thing. Yeah, you have to be able to take each as one. All you're she like, heard was can't. mistake. Well, he did say that, which, which, yeah, let, which lets us know mistake. that he's saying it's yeah. a mistake. Yeah, it's but a it mistake. sounds like you're saying that you should be you should be allotted a certain amount of mistakes according to how much money you raise. Yeah, the hell yeah. I mean, if, if a black woman was smart, she will weigh that up in the scale. Right. So you got well, a lot of women. Well, there are some. There are yeah. some. Yeah, got you got a lot, a lot of, of women leave. A lot of women. take care of them forever. As soon as, they get, as soon as something happens, they'll fuck you, I'm out. And it's like, okay, now you broke. Very few women that the man is really, really providing financially leave. If we were just going to be honest, yeah. very few women leave when they're being taken care of at that level. A Good lot of point. women leave a broke man because then it's like, I'm oh, inconvenienced yeah, and, and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm broke and I'm right. hurt. I mean, it's just not, it's not adding up. But very few women leave if they don't have to work and they're being able to buy all the Gucci. Like, I don't know But it still put a turn on the relationship, though. They yeah. act different. They start Because the guy is lying. They make the man mm. kind of, mm, you know, I'm on record. comfortable. I'm on record for saying that if my wife were, were Nicki Minaj, she could get road dick. Yeah. You did say that. Man, see, I said the same thing the other day, you didn't I? did say that. I said, listen, if my girl was one of them, yeah, she could do it. Take her care of me. I'm at the crib. I'm mm -hmm. chilling. Go do what you right. hey. I understand. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? That hey. We'll figure it out. Well, yeah, we're going to figure <laughs> that out, baby. We, as long as you clean that shit up and come on back home. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Get a good shower and bath in. Are y'all serious? I think y'all are full I'm of shit. I'm so serious. Shit. As territorial as shit. alpha males are, you are okay. Territorial is because you broke. <laughs> wow Come up with a bag <laughs> wow. We ain't got Hey I'm gonna play my position And she doesn't need to Like be broadcasting You know what I'm saying Cause dudes don't do that uh, uh, besides Real the guys don't Some right. of them do Some of them get caught out there With, with TMZ all in their back pocket Right right, right 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 But you know what I'm saying a, a, a smarter guy Is not gonna have his household Disrespected You know what I'm saying I agree yeah. See, me and him could be brothers. We think I so see. much alike I knew it. You gotta That's give them plausible deniability they, yep. they don't Like if it's not in their face and it's not disrespectful, right. then it's different than if I'm just out in where, at whatever restaurant that anybody could see us at. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't need to be in a relationship if I'm doing that. If I'm right. leaving the house and I'm taking chicks to five-star restaurants every other day, movies, walking up, I don't need to be in a relationship. But if, yeah. I, if, if like, my girl now I've been with for 13 years, she has never had a woman call her, conduct business with her, about. and say, bitch, I'm fucking your man. He got right. a mole on his ass. He, t he paying my bills. I'm talking about right. never, not one time. Yeah. Phone, text, DM, Facebook, that none is of that. Because, well, I think I you think know? in the in the era of men not being alpha males, we also have mistresses or side chicks that mm. are disrespectful. Where usually back in the day it was not you didn't do that. Now right. women are like taking pictures of right. people sleeping. And do you think that's the man's responsibility to kind of? They don't respect the man. Oh wow! They wouldn't. They wouldn't. If they respected the man. They wouldn't be doing that. See, they're not wow. respecting the man enough. Right? I thought that they weren't respecting his relationship. Nah, they're not respecting the man enough because any chick was to ever do that and they know they was dealing with a real man, a man know, well, baby, you ain't worth my family, so I'm not never coming back to you just for even trying anything of that nature. So now it's me and you as black, like, as this table. It's over. It's over. Yeah, so, if, you know. It, wow. Hmm. Pretty much. So, all right. So, 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 am I to understand that you guys feel like if a man is, if a man is earning a certain amount of money, he should be able to make X amount of mistakes? I'm not saying I'm putting I'm putting a number on it. I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm not. <laughs> she with, tried. Yeah, yeah you see tried. what I'm saying? No. I'm, what I'm simply saying is, because the then she's gonna ask how much money. Yeah. <laughs> then gonna, well, how much yeah. money is the cutoff? <laughs> I'm simply saying the white man. I'm in a, the white man mm -hmm. has been married to his white wife for 60 years. He go to work from Monday to Friday. At Friday, he bring his check home. He take a piece out. He leave for the weekend. Mm -hmm. The white woman never call him that weekend. Better not call him that weekend unless the fire, the house is burning down. <laughs> They've been together for 60 years. 
Yeah, 60 years, she don't, she don't. 50 years, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Like, this is how their relationships stay, up, you know, stay afloat. But right. with our culture and our women, you can do the same thing and bring home everything and, and provide everything. And a woman still trying to look in your DM. She, you still, <laughs> you're gone too long. She want to, you know, do this and that. And it, it just get weird, like. So what do you guys think, from, from your perspective, from two alpha males' perspective, what do you think would make our relationships better? Because, you know, I agree, we do need more. We need more families to stay together. What do you think, what advice can you give women to I, make relationships better? I already know the first thing is that um, there has to be order. There has to be an order. And I mean, you may call it divine order, but I just call it order, period. Because I think that there has, as much as me and my wife are partners, mm -hmm. there still has to be somebody who was making right. the final decision. Right, right, right. And that needs to be respected. Yeah. And if it's me, then it's me. And if it's her, in some relationships, that might work. If it's right. her, then it's her. But some it, it, relationships, right? Not yeah, your yeah, relationship. No, hell but, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> no. Right. And I love my wife to death, and we're partners. Right. Exactly. However, we both understand that at the end of the day, if something crashed downstairs, I'm the one going downstairs right. in my drawers to figure out what it is. Yeah. If if a serious financial issue hits the house, I'm going to be the one that's going to have to make the last decision. She respects that. She chose me because she felt like she could respect whatever right. decision I make. And that's where it really is, is the woman has to decide who she's going to be with before she puts all these rules into it if y'all would choose better mm. y'all would if we would choose better yeah but we don't have we don't have you, great you, options no, that's, not, well, that, that's not our fault it yeah, is your exactly. fault it isn't I don't know what it say. isn't what? you gotta have good leaders like if you're not being led by good leaders then you want to be the leader then that there there comes the friction but al you got you know because you you're out here you you're saying you're acknowledging that there are not a lot of real men so well, what I are disagree. women supposed I to do i disagree in a sense maybe in atlanta but women's standards you guys standards are too high when you have what? a woman it, you you are because think about it if a woman has basically <laughs> no job mm -mm. basically a couple kids basically shopping at you know fashion sense couple spots <laughs> you know <laughs> places like that she clowning. have no business turning down a man in a nice 2000 and 2010 car got a little job this and that but she pissing on him right she want the nigga in the club popping the bottles in the sham but that's because the he don't the, want her though it's an imbalance he may want to hit though he go and he for will. a day or two yeah. he will it's a hit and I'm gone like other than that we yeah. got, you gotta balance your situations like uh. women y'all every woman want the top nigga but the top nigga is looking at you like what are you what's, what's up <laughs> you know what I mean? So you gotta understand. That's like for me. I know what I can and like. I know what I know what I can and can't do. Like I know I can't go out here and find a, a woman that look like Nicki Minaj right now, right? Mm -hmm. And there, here's the reason why: two okay. things gonna either happen. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to fuck her so great when she fall in love with me and, and that's going to be cool and cute after so long. Right. But then a nigga going to come in with a bag, right. a serious bag, right. or I'm going to be worried about who she fucking and why niggas looking at her every all day because my money don't match this bitch. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's real. And that's just, sometimes you don't match your partner and that's right. what be the, you know, the whole thing. If women kind of understood that from a sense of, let me just go back to regular men. Like, <laughs> let me go back to just a man, a good man right. that got a job and, you know, that's just cool. Got my back. I, yeah. I swear, man, I, I, it's crazy because I'm not Muslim. Right. Not Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. But they got some of it figured out when it yes. comes to men-women relationships. They do. They have that thing where they it's like half the age plus seven or mm -hmm. something like that. I think that older men and younger women works. Mm -hmm. In the right, I agree. In the right way, because it, it's a lot easier for a woman to say, "Okay, well, I'm going to allow you to take the lead because you have more life experience." Mm -hmm. That's something that's very important. And life experience is important in that decision as well. So you cannot pick a, a younger dude who has less experience. It's, I think, that's a. It'd be hard to respect him. Difficult. Yeah, and that's why different. a lot of older women manipulate the young guys. Like, I've been manipulated by an older chick as uh, I was growing up. Yeah. What happened? You got yeah. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> just, boy, yeah, I got molested by an older lady, too. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But just even an older relationship when a woman is like three, four years older than a, than a man, they tend to manipulate the hell out of the man. You know Really? What I mean? Three or four years? Of course, like two, three years. Yeah, anything past like... Two and a half to any two and a half and up, the woman manipulates the shit out of the younger dude. Like easy. That's like the same age though, damn. No, nah, no, nah, because men are not mature. Right. Right. They're not they don't mature fast as, you know, most of women. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, all you women gotta do is for a 30-year-old versus a 26-year-old or 27. All she gonna do is cry a lot, <laughs> throw it, you know, like put the reversal mode, put the mirror in his face, the guilt situation on him and, and mm -hmm. make him feel like he's doing something wrong when 
he really just probably being a man. You know what I mean? It's hard to be a man in 2018. <laughs> you, you realize you've had us talking, but you haven't told us about loyalty and faithful. I said I don't think, I think that it's the same. For me, I don't think that, I don't think any man would think I was being loyal to him if I wasn't being faithful. I just don't, I don't see how that could True. be. I don't, see, I wouldn't feel, to me, that's, and I'm going to say for me, I know there are women out there that can do that, but for me, if I'm loyal to somebody, I only want to be with him. I don't want to be with other men. I, but I agree with that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is it's not necessarily disloyal when you're unfaithful. Would you break up or would you leave your husband or your, your man if he cheated on you? I did that before, yeah. And left, I straight left. up. Every time or just this one It instance? was one time. Well, it was that time, but it was, it was, it was extenuating circumstances that led right. to it. Was he getting money? Uh, I really see. That's why you love adequate, it. but it, but it wasn't even that. It was it was the it was I had went through some really bad stuff, and he right. chose to do it like at a real disrespectful time. Is cheating oh, a deal right. breaker in a relationship? Just in general, blanket statement. Yes I don't or no? know. I see, don't I don't know. think it's a that hard necessarily thing to is. Say. You build all these years, and you build this entire life with somebody, and then some, there's one indiscretion, and now you're saying I'm gonna give all but of the. It depends the build? on why it is, though. I think that women, I and I have a lot of guy friends that I know. Step out on their women And it's not just about Stepping out If It'd be one thing If the man was stepping out And it was just a physical thing Right But that's not what's happening Niggas are telling secrets And sharing information the Pillow talk niggas, is disrespectful though. Them is weak niggas Them is Again Those are niggas that They shouldn't be in relationships Those are not leaders You right. know what I mean Like right. your grandfather And think about it If he had a scandal Going on back in the days Nobody, nobody heard knew. about nobody that Nobody knew anything You know what I mean Whole other right. family right. Right. right right. Those are the me and men And again if, if me and you decided to have intercourse on the side and you know I got a woman. The first time that you say, nigga, fuck your bitch and, you know, fuck your bitch, nigga, I'm going to tell that whole friend, then I should have enough respect for my right. girl at home and say, you know what, me and you are done. Right. It should never come to a point where you arguing with my girl at home and it's right. like, now I'm a bitch-ass nigga. That, that, that's a bitch-ass nigga right there. I agree. But but what about what about when you're having relationships on the side and you start having feelings for these women as well and then the girl, she falls in love with the guy and then, of course, you know, that's that's going to cause trouble. That's always going to cause trouble. It is. Even if if it's just trouble for you. Because every time you see her, you got to hear. You know what I mean? Like, it just, to me, there's no way to do that in a in a, in a a decent way. It's going to, even though grand, granddaddy didn't say anything about it, he had to be stressed when he went across town and she was giving him it comes hell. With I mean, it, it comes it with stress, to. but it still got to be a, some sort of structure. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I agree. Not, I'm not the person to ask because you know how I feel. I feel like those, don't put yourself in temptations away. Right. And then you don't. So I don't. I don't even put myself in temptation. That's what my at, pastor told at all, me. Ever. Yeah, my pastor told me. And I've yeah. been faithful because I don't. I don't think. I don't know if it's because, but because I've never even put myself in that position so far. Well, now let me ask you this: You be on the computer a lot, mm-hmm. right? You, you, do you uh, watch porn? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't right. anymore. I stopped, but I okay. for many many years. How did you stop? It was you know what on on my, one of my other shows we just were talking about the way that it mm-hmm. takes their brain over and <sighs> it starts making you think differently about sex and yeah. you know what I'm saying the visuals yeah. of it. Porn and it's, kills. It, porn kills love. It, in a sense, porn does kill love. It does kill. So love. I just stopped and I haven't done <laughs> it for like a year. But before real? that, you know, since I was a teenager. Me too, man. I have yeah. a real bad problem. Yeah. You know? Well, maybe we can help. Maybe you can help Al get over his porn addiction. No, I've, I've recently stopped. No, really? I've recently stopped. I'm, I may be like. Um, about two weeks or three weeks. Two weeks out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, two, what question were you going to ask? So you were, you were getting to something. Well, uh, that was my question. Like with the porn. Like, do you feel like that's cheating? Like with with the porn? Because uh, I mean, how could you? A man. So you're just telling me every single day you just boom looking at this girl and like you don't see. Right. Right. There's right. No right. Jacking off. There's no <laughs> nothing else. Like that is hard for a man. That's why I just. I that's a great that. question, and I think that that is the proof. That you can be unfaithful and loyal at the same time, because in a sense, porn is unfaithful. Yeah, it is unfaithful. I, I, man, I have you're lusting after another, 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 another woman. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I can't so, like, wait in a sense, it is, but <laughs> yeah. it, that don't mean I'm, I'm shitting on my wife either, though. Right? Exactly. I, mean, I shouldn't yeah, take cheating. anything away from my yeah, wife. Yeah, See, I don't cheap. have a problem with porn. I don't think I think if my guy was into was watching porn, I'm talking, I wouldn't care. Like that to me. Now the problem would be if he started trying to act out the porn. What's wrong with that? No, no, no. Acting out with other women. Oh, with other women. Well, I'm saying, just, what if porn got to a point to where y'all not having a good sex life because he likes a lot of porn? 
I mean, how could that happen, though? It can. I can. It can definitely. Yeah, tell me how happen. does that happen. It, because, it, <laughs> this, because porn, and this is what I'm talking about as far as it takes your brain over. It's so sensational. Yes. Porn is, and, and you and you always, after after a while, you have to graduate and you're like, well, I seen, I seen a bitch get choked out, but now I want to see her get choked out. She can't ever breathe again. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is, is she yeah, dead? Is she, is she yeah. dead? Yeah. Like, it's so, weird. And, so, and then when you That's go back to having normal... Best. Vanilla sex with your girl It's like Well Should I choke her now <laughs> Should yeah, I say that yeah. For the finishing move <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should I choke her now yeah. Now it's time to Being on choke. the computer All the time now With free porn It's just like a second nature It's like when I hit Facebook mm, Let me see what's on Porn Hub today <laughs> I'm not gonna jack off I'm, I'm definitely not gonna do it today Right But then as soon as You, you know After 5-10 minutes You know right. You know in 15 minutes I in, might as well you're just like, go on Shit. And get rid of this <laughs> Yeah because again We're non-emotional people We just want to have that look at that lust right. that temptation that nut so what 10 made minutes you, scam I'm out hey. what made you to say what, what made you say okay I, this is getting out of control um porn I didn't I see you getting some concrete information right here I'm saying <laughs> this is good stuff um porn is it out of control uh <laughs> I don't know if it's out of control <laughs> what made you what made you decide to stop to where you're two weeks okay okay that's what's I up. think when I jacked off and <laughs> in the morning I didn't feel full. I didn't feel. Ah. Like, I didn't feel spiritually like for some reason. Porn, it it gives you that other thought of whatever dirty shit is in your mind. Yeah. It gives you that. Well, you can't finish and then pray. Right, you know what right, I mean? Right, right, you right. almost gotta let that kind of die out. Right. That emotion die out. So right. I find myself once you're jacking off like three times a week. It's like, damn, I'm always feeling down or I'm always feeling kind of negative. Or right. I'm always, it's almost like not going to the gym. Right. And, you know, I'm going to eat this. You know, it's kind of like just, I don't know, it's weird. And like no, you said, it sense. gets worse. Right. Because you know, it was more than three times a week for me. That, and yeah. So, so, <laughs> every day, if I wouldn't, if I didn't have sex, sometimes when I had sex, I still would. See, yeah, so, I got friends like him. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> I, it was like a thing. Yeah. So. And, and and like you were saying, full, it's the same thing for me. It was like, you know, let's say it takes 30 minutes, sir, because I start getting into what I'm looking at. Right. Now, and now you're like, hour. I just wasted a fucking hour yeah. of my life. I felt like sh complete yep. shit. Yep. I'm like, damn, I could have been doing this. Yeah. I had so many things I could have been doing, man, but yeah. an hour passed by and that's all I got out of the end That of is it. deep. And, and you've completely stopped. Yeah. You haven't watched... He actually has a shirt that says... XNXX porn. or Pornhub in a year. <laughs> no, it's uh, August of 2016, so it's more than... I think it's 2016. Wow. More than a year, actually. And what was your favorite site, by the way? Um... Uh, I don't. I don't know. It was a couple of them. I think at the time it was I X X X. I X X. They yeah. had all the ebony grates. It had, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like Walmart. You know they got categories. You you go down the aisle, man. It just it's, it was better than X X X and Pornhub. Uh, no, I think those are probably better. But I've gotten tired of those. Okay, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, agree. The same girls. <laughs> right. Oh, this is, this is weird now. It yeah. It's yeah. weird, but that's that's the proof that it's not great. That's yeah. the proof that it's not as great as it seems like it is. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that, you know what I'm saying, now we're caught up in this conversation about... Yeah, And yeah. look at her. She's I'm like, just like, she's like that yo. is crazy. Yeah. But that goes to show you us men. Yeah. When you say loyalty... That's totally different. See, I go back to the beginning of time in Bible. We were the creators. Right. We had to chase y'all to make the babies and stuff. Y'all right. never chased us. Right. That DNA stayed in us. So like, do you think... Okay, that's a good point. Do you think that, that that's another issue with women today? Because I know women are very much chasing... Do you think that men's still want the woman that's a little bit hard to get, the one that they got to... Because women yeah, are women have reversed the... Not really, though. I still don't get... You know, women don't... Women don't... Nah, nah. Really? If they, if they come and approaching you now, they're approaching you due to your status. Right. Well, they do, you know though. What I mean? But that, it, that happens... It's not genuine. Right. Like, uh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. A man is just looking like, you pretty and I need to talk to you. Like, <laughs> right. Just, you know, I don't know why. She's I, like, this, this nigga manages this nigga and <laughs> I need to holler at him. I think my problem is what women don't recognize is that you guys say you don't, but all women want to kill her. I'm not talking about necessarily like a murderer, but I'm no, saying in, in aggression, you want a killer, but then when he comes home, you want him to not be a killer anymore. Yeah. You have got to understand how to separate his aggression or harshness as not being directed towards you, but just because that's, that's the spirit he has to carry because for 23 out of 24 hours, he's having to kill. That's yeah. true. For the hour that he's there... <laughs> don't make him be something else. Don't force him the to. The hour? Well, I'm just. Why I'm is just, he only there an hour? I'm just I giving you an I, example. I, I get it. Because I think, like, I was with my boyfriend, like, I wanted him to watch, like, romantic chick movies. And he's like, I'm not watching that with yeah, you. Yeah, like. I'm like, but 
But why? It's like that's a gift if if we watch that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's a gift because. But that's, why couldn't it just, just be about? And here's the thing: if what if he did that today, right? Okay. And then tomorrow. Yeah. And then like next week. <laughs> yeah. And now you guys see what I'm saying? But now you got a feminine ass man. My wife told me she want to leave him when you see to... talking about, hey, do he look cute to you? Like, it's just, <laughs> like, wait a minute, nigga. What's really going on? But you made him like that. I couldn't right. make him like that if he's, I can't change him. I got him. your nigga cuddled up watching Love Jones <laughs> three times a fucking week. Right. And Love Jones is a good movie, nigga but. was poetic justice and shit. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see why you can't be both. You can't be. It's it's, it's impossible to be a killer and be yeah. your best friend. And that your yeah. my wife always tells me, I need to be able to talk to you like you're my best friend. We are best friends. Yeah, that's what but I'm you got to have a girl best friend or somebody that you can talk to about that stuff. Because I just I can't be patient enough to stop and pretend <laughs> like that's something that me and my wife argue about that because she doesn't always get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. I, I want you, I want someone let, that I can talk to about everything. Mm. Yeah. But Everything it, it's, we're, we're you know we're out here in the jungle. We got really we got a jungle. They don't see the jungle. You don't see the jungle. No, you don't see the jungle. Where is the jungle? You don't, see, and that's the thing. Ninety nine percent of the men that's locked up right now is due to a woman. Due to a woman. You go check it out. Either they mother, they sister, they grandmother, they Why girlfriend, baby mama. It had something <laughs> intertwined with a woman. Ninety percent of the brothers that's locked up right now. Now all the women motherfuckers is chilling. <laughs> you either broke or going to college. A lot of men that were sent to women through college. Remember yeah. years ago, back in the days, in the 90s and shit, look yeah. how many men, black men that we lost selling dope on the streets and putting a black woman through college. Them niggas now is doctors, this, that, and the other. Yeah. Them niggas that still got 20, 30 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, again, it's a just A lot of like, dope boys did... Yeah, that was the thing back in the yeah. back in the nineties. Yeah. You sending your girl through college. As soon right. as you got locked up, she in college, she didn't got rich, she ain't asking your letters no more. And these <laughs> niggas is doing twenties and thirties. They just getting out right now and they can't even get in touch with the girl. No, she's gone. She's gone. Yeah, gone. She's Long, gone. Looking at the nigga like, huh, who win? <laughs> nigga. Oh, get out of here. I got so. a girlfriend who's dude put her through like she had a master's degree. Like he, you know, funded all of that. But I mean, he was kind of a piece of shit too. You cheated on her a lot. Well, she got, through, she, she got a degree. You know how much uh, you know how much um, student loans are. I do, I do. I wish I I picked better. <laughs> <laughs> student loans are even ridiculous. if she didn't fuck with him no more. Does she at least give him some money when he got out? No. See. See. I mean, that was you know that was part of the exchange. What, <laughs> what exchange? What? What do you mean? The 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 time was was, part of the, was part of the exchange, and so then when he gets the out, the time that they spent together, he he that was agreed that he would give her money to do that. Wow, she oh, must this shit me. is a scam. See, that's it's not why a scam. I'm, it Al. is it's not a scam. Ooh, guys. it's a scam. Y'all no, on that emotional sc- bullshit? <laughs> you finessing niggas with that, that, is that not shit, finessing. Damn, man. That, that shit is finesse, is, bro. How is it finesse if that's what he wants to do? No, Men understand I that. No, because ass. You should give me something. I came out fucked up. Well, I mean, he's, he didn't go to jail, so that's he is oh, hard. Okay. He is down on his luck. Well, but uh, same thing. That ain't got nothing what to do is, with her. What, is, what did she get out of it? What did he get out of it in your eyes? Well, they were in a relationship. She, you know, he was cheating on her the whole time. So I feel like for her pain and suffering of being constantly cheated on, well, hold on, she what got was her de- lifestyle when he was getting cheated? When she was getting cheated on? I damn sure it was great, right? I mean, it wasn't. It was oh, nice. Okay, yeah. see, so I mean, that was all a part of it, though. That now, was see, all. Part now that's all to inclusive. Me, to me, no, no, no. But to me, you, you, you got to give something in any situation, right? So to me, she had, she didn't have to work. She had a right. great lifestyle provided for her, but she was con- She also didn't get to have a child because he had some other situations going on. So she sacrificed a lot of her life to be with this nigga that... Oh, that's the good side. She didn't have no kids with the nigga. See what I'm that's saying? That's not a good side, though, because she wanted to. But she didn't, and, she's a- and he's fucked up now. That is good. Right. That so that part she, is- she, she, yeah. but, but I'm saying she wanted to, though. She, if a woman is in love with you... They'll rock with you even if you're down. So pay for your emotions. I didn't say pay for emotions. <laughs> no, <laughs> what that's I'm what saying, you're saying in no, so many words. What I'm saying is that it was it was even exchanged on both sides. She wanted more of him than she could right. have. And he wanted her to stay with a piece of him, mm-hmm. a fifth of him. So in order to do that, he paid, he paid like he, you know, he paid the cost. So I mean it, it made sense. I, I get it. I mean, she wouldn't have went through what she went through, through with him with a, with a nigga that wasn't paying. Right. It wouldn't have made sense. Well, no, I guess my point is he was already paying for the lifestyle, but then he also sent it through college. That was the double up. So and, and, and He was in okay with that, though. That's all, that was cool, you know, but yeah. in actuality, she should have at least 
toss a dog a bone. I don't think that that's a part of it. I don't think she that's has weird. to do that. See, I, that's weird. I don't, I don't think it's weird. Just like, see, I, I hate that because you quick to say she don't do that, but then uh, you, the same person said, well, man can't cheat. And he's really... No, you, I didn't say that. If you're, if you're doing this and you... you know, <laughs> I, I dare you. You can't be loyal and love to me <laughs> if you don't do it. But it's, where's the love and loyalty there? Right. Where's the loyalty? Not love, but the loyalty Where's the because here's the thing, loyalty is supposed to be a word for a last eternity. It is. It and is. Loyalty is not based upon what I give you mo- you know, monetarily right. right now. Anybody can be loyalty. But to I that. think that you I think that you can that's true. And I think that if a woman loves a man, she is a hundred percent loyal. But but men have a good way of being able to to hurt a woman to the point where that loyalty is gone. I think that after so much hurt, like they say, when a woman's fed up. Mm-hmm then all of a sudden her loyalty is gone because he's misused, he's not appreciated it, he's abused it. Yeah. And there was a lot more to the story. I don't want to put her business in the street. But she didn't no. stop going to school. Hell no. Exactly. She, she loved, got the bag. She, she stayed in school. I feel like that's part, the part of the deal is you're staying in school so then you recognize that... No. There's a service, there's a, still a service being... What does that have to do with anything, though? This shit is a scam. Yeah, Why wouldn't he crazy. stop, he didn't stop getting the, he, he didn't stop hitting. I mean, he... he hitting what? Uh, her? Hit what? I'm just saying they were they were having sex. What you mean, pussy were, and dick is even. It's not even. This is even, definitely even. even. Not, we, well, how is it not even? It's not even just for what the fact you that you guys sitting up looking at Pornhub. Wait, and we're, That's because we want to. We can go like find some pussy at any given time. And, and I, <laughs> I give you a prime example. Let me tell you something. I was in, I was in a, uh, what was in that goddamn crick, uh, whatever titty bar last night. Uh, the white one, cheetahs. Okay. Right? Okay. I found me a chair. I walked in the club. It was three beautiful women, right? I walked past them. I said, hey, how you doing? They just looked at me. You know, they look pretty ass. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I walked over there to the other side of the bar. Say, I paid the guy. Say, find me a chair. He mm-hmm. ended up finding me a chair right next to their ass, right? Right. So I goes walk all the way over there sitting next to their ass now. I had about 5000 in my pocket that I didn't count. Mm-hmm. So I happened to be no capping because I was in the corner. Couldn't nobody see me. So I'm quietly counting this money. Mm-hmm. The girl sitting there looking at me, mm-hmm. count my money, and her friend in back of me, her friend got a back turn, but her girl standing right there. Now, I know a girl said, hey, man, this motherfucker counting a bank rolling back here. Right. Do you know it about, took about 10 minutes, <laughs> that girl turned around and said, where do I know you from? I wish I knew it was going to happen because I didn't say nothing. <laughs> and the reason why I didn't say nothing because I already know the type of boss that I am. As soon as I get to talking to her, mm-hmm. now I become the drink man right. for all three of these motherfucking bitches. <laughs> and I'm not doing, I'm not with right. that. You see what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? I'm going to eat my steak. I'm going to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but she cut into me like, well, why you didn't say nothing to us? And I, was the, and I told her, because, baby, I didn't want it to be, now I'm y'all party. Now I'm, you know, <laughs> now I'm paying for everybody's drinks. So I said, I'd rather sit here, shut the fuck up, and eat a steak. You know what I mean? But that's the premise. Did you end up paying so, for drinks? No, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no, I didn't. And the conversation only went to a certain amount. <laughs> and then, and then they, they, they moved on. <laughs> yeah, after I told her I wasn't, you know, doing this and that, then it was, okay, a conversation you know, rotating back here and there. Rotate but, back. Yeah. Hilarious. But. Well, Al, first of all, thank you for your insight. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for today. having me. Thank you. You gave us a little, you were definitely a great co You think he was a great co-host? I do. Definitely came in and agreed with you with the alpha male. Man, I would love to debate <laughs> with some women and, and just really we're figure gonna this We're going to do that. We're definitely going to have to set that up and do that on a big scale yeah. because we got to get you, yeah. get you riled up. Tell people how they can get in touch with you or follow you. I know you have, we didn't talk about birds of a feather, but I know you definitely. have some stuff coming out. Tell people how they can learn more about what you have going on. Um, birds of a feather is a new movie. Uh, myself and Zaytoven. Uh, worked on Birds of a Feather Part 2 is getting ready to come out uh, next month along with Trap Holiday album. Uh, mm-hmm. This is Zaytoven's official first album. I would love for everybody to support that. This is my brother's first album. I'm the a and on the joint. Um, the album features uh, Future, Gucci, Uzi Vert, Rick Ross, Yo Gotti, Trey Songs, uh, anybody you can think of, man. Everybody, you know, any everybody you can think of, all the big wigs. So that'll be out next month, May 25th. You know, Trap Holiday. Yeah, that's what it's all about right now. You, you know, you can just Google Al Nuke, A-L-N-U-K-E, to see all my many uh, businesses and ventures I got going. That's what's up. Well, again, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're definitely going to have him come back and do something a little bit bigger with some more people. Yeah. But, um, right now, you got to get back to family day. Yeah. And I want <laughs> that's the key. I want to keep family alive. I think, I think these shows and platforms are important because we need to figure out how can we get the black family 
back in the household. It's got to be some changes. We got to iron out some issues. Mm -hmm. Men got to become leaders again, and women have to be, get in their positions again as mm -hmm. strong black sisters. Not saying get in your position, but I right. am saying get in your motherfucking position as a man and a true leader to the household. <laughs> right. As a true leader to the household. I'll never tell you nothing wrong. Never right. beat your ass. I ain't popping pills, snorting cane, none of that old crazy shit. I'm saying, baby, this is what we about to do. Right. I can't argue with that. You know, women appreciate that. Yeah, it ain't coming from an ill spirited. Right. Come on. <laughs> there you He's go. Just a man. <laughs> That's appreciate what's you, up. Man. Yeah, but Thanks, thank you for Al. having me. Peace. Okay, guys, we want to thank Al Nuke again for joining us. Um, definitely the self-proclaimed alpha male is what I'm going to call him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you guys got another another, uh, another convict for your, an another convert. Convict. <laughs> another, another converted porn, uh, non-anti-porn uh, uh, person. Porn is dangerous, man. I, I don't know. I don't know why everybody seems to be getting to the same place at the same time, but I, I'm cool. kind of glad it's happening, though. Yeah, no, I, I was actually... Uh, mm -hmm. That was interesting to hear someone else that has that that's had that same journey on his own. You know what I mean? That's come to that. I didn't realize porn was messing you guys up so badly. <laughs> Jeez, I, I think it's probably doing a lot more damage than people let on. Right. I, absolutely. Well, that was cool. We definitely want to thank him for coming out. Hopefully, we'll have him be able to have him come back. But we've had a crazy, crazy week on social media um, between Bill Cosby and uh, the verdict coming back guilty. That has a lot of people, you know, kind of shocked. Um, this has been going on for so long. I actually had the opportunity to read some. Everybody's had had comments, but I had the opportunity to read a deposition, and it really, like, kind of shook me up. You know what I mean? Because it's like to actually think that that Bill Cosby, a.k.a. Cliff Huxtable, could have really been guilty of all these things that people have said um, is is really just shocking to me. I can't lie. Oh man. Um, I think we have to give ourselves a little bit of credit though, because especially for me and you, because I know what age we are. We were when we were introduced to the Cosby Cliff show. Huxtable, right? And you know, I don't. I don't necessarily. I, I somewhere in the back of my mind, I feel like. They could possibly be just trying to take a black dude down that's powerful, Have but a but seat. right, yeah. but you know the things you were telling me about the deposition, yeah, it's just it's creepy, yeah. But I think we have to still give ourselves a break, remembering that we were kids, kids, right? And that's a different it's a different type of. Um admiration that you have when you're introduced to someone as a child than you do later. But I think it's just very dangerous uh, the way we put celebrities on a pedestal and the way that we confuse their persona with their, their, their public persona with their actual uh, role. You know, Cliff Tuxtable is not Bill Cosby. Right. Um, you know, we talked about actually, you know, there's so many different people that we assign characteristics because we like what they do you know we love Michael Jordan as a basketball player a lot of people when they you know have had experiences <laughs> with him and realize he's not you right. know the player that they they wanted him to be I, I never liked Michael Jordan as a basketball player really yeah I was a bad boys fan what the hell yeah how could you not like Jordan and Pippen and Paxson like I because I felt like everybody was fans with him that were they didn't even you know just you know but did you watch like I of used course. to watch basketball because right. of Michael Jordan no I, 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 was, I was a bad boys fan the Detroit Pistons? Yeah. They were disgusting. What? Lambeer? Yeah. Like, no. Rick Mahorn? I didn't like them. They, they Dennis were just, Robin? They were mean. They, they were, yeah, they they were, were. mean. Blue they, collar. Were, they were unattractive. The, the, but it's ugly, like but it worked. It didn't really work. The it Bulls, worked. They won two, they won two they championships. Did, but the Bulls, the, people love that rivalry because it was like the All-American team versus the bad boys. They played so dirty. I, that's how I play. I didn't, I'm a real blue collar player. Like, when I play ball, it's ugly, really? but it goes in. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. What about the Kanye? Everybody was talking about Kanye West. I think we're probably gonna disagree. I, after a while, I kind of just like zoned out. Kanye went on this Twitter rant. He's been, you know, he's got the cap on the Make America Great Again. People are just like giving him way too much attention. Even his wife. Can, How are we gonna disagree? I'm waiting. On, I'm, waiting I'm saying because I think that Kanye is really mentally not well. Right. And I think I don't think this is because of his album. I do think that I think that he's in a creative space and he's sharing how he feels. But I don't think that he's just saying this stuff because of an album. Right. I really think that Kanye is just one of the people that's a little bit off, but is also a genius. And 
I think people shouldn't be giving him as much attention as, as they are. I think the more attention he gets, the more he's going to continue to do it. The things he said, you disagree with? I do it. I do disagree. You Some di- of them. You disagree that everyone should be treated differently. I mean, like, okay, so the 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 Trump stuff. I think if you're black, you have to disagree with it just yeah. because it's part of the, you got to be part of the crew. But I, but I do think the Trump stuff is to be extremely salacious and to get people's attention. I think he wants people to disagree with him. But I, I think, think that's his goal. But what if it, what if his goal is to paint a picture of how ridiculous it is to kind of be tribal? I don't think that's his intent at all. I think that he wants to be seen. I think he's a little off, right? I think even the, what I has he know, been on? What do you mean? <laughs> He's been a crazy dude for a while, though. Well, but I mean, there's there's hypocrisy in him in his in his messages. He, I mean, he this admits is the person that. he does. He does. He does. I think that he's one of the, one of the people that because he made the the when it all falls down one of my favorite songs ever, where he talks about racism. He he was always one to stand. Hell, he said. Bill, you know George Bush doesn't like black people. Right. Did you see the the meme that says Kanye West? Doesn't like I did. Black people. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like a meme of George Bush saying Kanye West doesn't like black people. He doesn't like black people because of what though? That's what my problem is. Well, Why does he like to black make people? Make America great and the siding with Trump is a big. Did he part side of with why. Trump? Though he just said that's my brother. I love him. <laughs> We're both dragon blood. I don't. I don't remember him ever saying, "Man, uh, Donald Trump's policies are are perfect." He wore a hat that said "Make America Great Again." I think we assume that hat. It, he also has has been sporting the Confederate flag. He did that during yeah. Jesus, right? Yeah, and yeah. he's still, you know, he that's that's. I think that he he. <laughs> a lot of times, people when they're oppressed, they take on the the ideals of their oppressor. Come on, I do. He is not fucking oppressed. I think that he 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 he, he clapped back by showing pictures of his mansion. He is not <laughs> oppressed. But I think that he has been one of the oppressed, and I think that that's a very sick mentality to distance yourself from others that are like you. So I think distancing <laughs> himself from other African Americans is his way of trying to. He's side with nowhere his near African Americans. What? He's nowhere near African American. Did you say he's nowhere near African American? Yeah. He's still his song said, even if you got money, you're still a nigga in a coop. He's still a, he's still a nigga in a coop. Yeah, but well, look maybe back, maybe. I look don't at know. everything in his life. Nothing in his life says I'm your average regular black person. Count on me for the that, black experience. That's a mental issue, though. When you get to the point where you're trying to distance yourself from who you are, I think that I don't know what that's called. I'm sure there's some type of mental um, illness. Phrase or terminology associated with that when you are trying very diligently to distance yourself or disassociate yourself from who you are. He, but he doesn't have a choice. He does have a choice. He has a choice. Look at the difference between him, he and Jay Z. There was that meme that went that's going around saying that you know your wife, who you choose as a wife, is a big, is a is a big deal. Now you're giving Jay Z too much credit. I am giving Beyonce the credit. (laughs) You're giving both of them too much credit because they play a good role. They're nothing like us either. Beyonce and Jay Z do a lot. They definitely are not in denial about what their racial background is. They're, they definitely well, he's, are not, he's not in denial. Kanye's not saying he's not black. That's not what I meant. What I'm saying is he's not like black people in, in the sense of uh, he's not oppressed and he's not wanting for things and he doesn't have any issues with. I don't think that's the definition of being African American. No, no, no. I'm saying as far as the connection that people are saying you're you're saying this stuff about Donald Trump. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is doing this to black people. He's not in the category. Donald of Donald Trump that, is doing things to people who don't have as much money. I don't think right. Donald Trump cares about. I don't think he likes poor whites or poor blacks. And what I'm saying is Kanye West is not in that category. So he's, he's not, not doing anything to Kanye West. So when Kanye West says, hey, that's my brother, y'all are looking at him like he's crazy, but he's not crazy. He is crazy because... <laughs> Jay-Z when, when, and Donald Trump are brothers, whether you want to admit it or not. not brothers. Man, please. Jay-Z came out and said that he... he, he Perception. It's ridiculous. He just has the... Perce- no, Jay-Z I think, I think will there's cut your people- throat right now. Watch the blood drain out to his <laughs> cup and he'll drink the blood and then, you know what I'm saying? I think that and they'll there are people to somebody that have afterwards. empathy for others that are not on their level. Right. I think to assume that no one who is a millionaire, or, you know, billion, a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, extremely affluent... Has any empathy for someone that's not is is just wrong. That doesn't make any sense. Just because some people make it to a certain level doesn't mean they no longer you know can fathom what's going on with other people. Right. I think that certain people do get to that point, and they don't want to. They don't want to remember. They don't even Kanye does not relate to the Kanye West of college dropout at right. this point. But right. I just wish people. I, I'm just over it. Like I don't. I think that we shouldn't be. 
you know, protesting. I'm just over the whole thing. Like, just leave him alone. I think he makes a good point. <laughs> He makes what good points? I think he made some good points. Really? Uh, yeah, I do. I believe that people judge far too quickly, and they also judge for the wrong reasons. And that is a problem. There's nothing that we can say about Trump that we should not nope, be judging. Nope, nope, not Trump. See, that's that's you, everybody took the Trump part and just ran with it. What that he was, was a big part of what, what he said. He, but what he was actually saying was far more... 50, what was he saying? The 50 foot view of it was, you cannot treat somebody a certain way based on the fact that they are a certain way. You have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. But Trump is suggesting that all the time. So he's saying that you should give up one set of biases for another. No. Do you have the actual quote? I don't have the actual the, the quote. The Twitter quote. I, I think that my point, I don't I don't have it on me right now. I'm going to pull up Kanye's. Oh, please pull up the quote. I'm going to pull up because, all of Kanye's well, tweets. The, the main one, the first one, because what I think a problem that we have as black people a lot of times is we're so caught up on, well, I can't. I have to support this because it's a black thing before we even look at do we agree with what is going on. I agree with that. I, I agree with that actually. That's what I thought his point was. I, no, but I mean, that might have been one of his points, but <laughs> <laughs> a lot of his points were just, he he's just going crazy. There's a silent majority of people that have been silenced for too long. He's just out of here. He's just tweeting. He's been tweeting. He's just, <laughs> he is tweeting away. I can't even get to what he said. He said that much since then? He said so much. He's been, he's totally been tweeting. He's just, he's out of control. <laughs> you don't, you can't find it? No, it's so much. I mean, Kanye has really been tweeting. I, think I do like some of the things he says. He says, trust your feelings. Stop thinking so much. I don't know what that means. I mean, he says a lot of different things. I love the world. <laughs> he's love, crazy, but I mean, I he, love it. I love it, but... But I don't, I'm not sure that he's is crazy for the reason that people say he's crazy, though. And I, I really... Okay, here he goes. You don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. <laughs> I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. But that's what he said afterwards. Because, you we know, have Kim right came out and said... Thought. Kim came out and said, well, he does... I don't agree with all of... Uh, with, with Trump's No, no, that views. was the first statement. That was the first statement. Because after that came the, the hat with... The sign hat with the, with, the fire, with the fire emojis, right. <laughs> but what I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, though, is the point there is that you don't have to necessarily agree with everybody's... Like, He's out of control. <laughs> me, I, I like you as a person, but that doesn't mean I like everything that you do. You don't agree with most things I say. But I still, but I still like you as a person, though. We're still yeah, friends. I understand that. But when, when when you put on a hat, I'm still going back to that. Right. When you put on a hat that says "Make America Great Again." Right. And you put on a, a Confederate flag on your arm. We know what those things. Mean. No, we don't, because we've assumed what "Make America Great Again" means. But what does it mean to no, you? No, Trump was very clear about he wants things to go back to a very. Um, Capitalistic type society. He, you mean the the things that all the things that we've we've benefited from for all these years? All of us, not just white people, not just rich people. I don't necessarily all think that's true, but I think I think the things that he's imposing is to set up to benefit a certain group of people more so than others. When has that ever not been like that? And it won't. It'll it'll well, continue but we're, to be we're like trying that. Trying to move away from that. Says who? He's trying to take us back there. Who says we're moving away from that? We society as a whole. We're moving away from actually discriminating on people because of their race, because of their culture. We are? Yes, we when? are. We have been. How? Were you not here for Obama's presidency? Obama's presidency? Were you presidency. not here for Obama's presidency? <laughs> really? <sighs> you want to just put up a wall for the Mexicans to stay out and, yeah, the, yeah. and everyone else? I, I, That's I, want, I want us to go back to slavery. Like, you're making it sound like if I, don't, if, I, if I don't agree with that, then I want us to be in slavery again. But that, it, you know what? It sounds comical, but the way things were, the way things, it sounds comical, but... It's not as far. It's not as far fetched as you would think. If you don't have the same privilege because you don't have the same economic status, things could get rough. Wow! I if you actually would think to put to, that, it would be okay for us to put up a wall to keep immigrants out and to send people what? back to Mexico. Hell yes! No, no, hold on. I put up a wall around my house so niggas can't just walk up in here. Because this is my property, and I want to make sure the things that are inside here stay here. How different is it than me putting a, a, a door that locks on my house with an alarm system? What about what about immigrants that have been here that have been actually contributing to our society? How did they get here? How are they? Why are they here? Well, they're here for the same. Contributing to our society? How? There, there are a lot of immigrants who don't pay any taxes whatsoever. There are a lot of Americans that don't. In fact, our president said he didn't pay taxes. Uh, hey, can we get a wall? 
You know what? I'm, I'm anyway. I want to put his ass behind a wall too. I'm, I'm, I, yes, exactly. He should go behind a wall. All I'm saying is, America is the greatest country on the planet. And I, you know what? I'm not going to disagree with you because we live here, and because you're a veteran. So I'm going to give you some respect. Being no, a no, that's not what I mean. I mean, I've been to these other countries. I know, I know. But I'm so just, you don't have to respect the veteran. You have to respect the fact that I've seen the living conditions and the the way these people are treated in other countries. That's why they're all dying to get here. Okay, so and you're I, we should not allow them to come. Not necessarily, no. We got. I think we need to parse some of this shit out, and we need to figure out who's who, where's where, what's what. What about the people that are already here? Then cool, they're here. Okay, so you're but, not yeah. with sending them back. No, I'm not sending nobody back. There's you're here, you're about here. Sending people back. You're here, you're here. What I'm saying is, I don't feel like America is as good as it has been in recent days. Okay. I feel like philosophically. So you want to make America great again too? I do. Okay. I do. Well, you I know feel what? like that's definitely Kevin is not here, but I'm definitely gonna hold him down <laughs> and say that is the beige side of the honest talking. I feel like that he wants to um make America make great, great again, again. Right. by uh, I mean, okay, so enslaving his brothers no, and sisters. No, see, there you go. There you go with that shit. I didn't say I that. I just took it too far. I didn't know. I'm saying that in my life, in our lifetime, I think America was better than it is in 2018. Really? I do. I think. I don't think that's. I don't see how we could possibly say that. Well, when the strides that have been happening have definitely been leveling the playing field. How so? I feel like more minorities have more more opportunity. Affirmative action. No, not affirmative action. I mean, affirmative action was needed at a certain point in time right, right. because we were not being given opportunity. So you think at all. 2018 is the best America has ever been? I think that we're at a bad place because of our president and because. That has brought so out you think twenty sixteen was were, the best America has ever been? No, I think before. Um, so you President think two thousand office <laughs> we, before, were a, we were in a better place? Okay, so that was in our lifetime. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. America has been better than it is right now. Okay. I so just, I want to make America to great like that. Okay. As long as we're not trying to go back to the, see, but why the he 40s. didn't he didn't say slavery? He didn't say that. It's it's a there's a fundamental idea I think mm -hmm. that America was the best. Across the globe Everybody felt like We were the best I don't think Everybody thinks that now And there's a reason It's because we're Soft as shit I don't think It's because we're Soft as shit I think it's because People I think it's Absolutely not Because of that I think that A lot of other countries I think that people Here have started To realize that We are not the Great friend To other countries That, that we initially Thought we were once we realized that the war was going on with Bush and other countries hated us, I think a lot of people start got a, a slap of reality like, oh right. my God, maybe we're not this great noble place that we, you know, dreamt and were taught we were as children. Right. I think all that has gone into it. I don't think it's about anything that you're, that it's not us being soft. I mean, that's, I don't think that has anything to do with it. We're down for anything now and the world's starting to recognize it. Yeah, We're down know. for anything. We, we'll let you change your race. We'll let you change your gender. We'll that let has you, we'll, yes, it does. It. No, it does. Yes, it does. It does. It does. It does. Because. It's going to get worse because people are okay with that. People are okay with that. You and Are Al you a red-blooded American? Are the only ones <laughs> are you a that are not cool with that. Are you a red-blooded American? Of course I am. All right. So then you're, you're complicit then. <laughs> you're you're part of the problem. No. Exactly. I'm telling you that America is the greatest country in the world, and we have been, but we're not as good as we have been in recent times. I would like America to be as great as it was. You want to go back few and years have ago. All the transgenders go back in the closet. Oh, see now that you trying to you trying to paint me into a corner. I said those two different statements. I said that we're very very soft on allowing people to just say and do whatever. But that's not Trump's argument they feel at like all. It. I just want to make argument. sure we say that. I don't, I'm not a Trump supporter. Okay, I'm just making sure because you were on Kanye's bandwagon for a I second. I wasn't. I was saying that you have to. What we're calling mental illness is a person who's saying, "Hey." I'm not necessarily against Trump just because y'all are against Trump. And that's right. all he's saying. Right. Yes, all black people are against Trump, but I'm not because that's stupid. And it is stupid. I, I am not against anything because all black people are that. And I actually wanted to go back and say, I actually felt, after I watched the video again and, all, and, and a, a few more times with the girl that was in um, Waffle House, Waffle House um, I felt like our commentary on last week's show might not have been 100%... Um, Fair. Fair, right. The video does look very bad. However, I am not, like, I, I was with some girlfriends this past week, and they were saying they were, <laughs> we were meeting someplace, and they were like, I don't want to meet at Starbucks. And I was like, why? I, I really, it didn't occur to me that they were saying they didn't want to go to Starbucks because of what happened. And I told them, I said, well, do you guys really think that was Starbucks as a whole's problem? And they said, no. 
I said, really, you realize that it was that particular manager that, you know, okay, that phone call, like that doesn't reflect solely on Starbucks. And they were like, yeah, well, we're just doing it because everybody else was doing it. And I was like, oh my God, that's horrible. (laughs) That's horrible. As a business owner, I would hate for one of my employees to do something. And then that's a much smaller scale, people just to count me out because of what one person did that didn't represent my whole. So I'm definitely not about bandwagon stuff. I I felt like I was opening my mouth and you were talking for me. That's how I felt right then. That's congratulations. Not what no. Congratulations that group I don't, think no. <laughs> group think doesn't always take over your brain. No, group think doesn't ever take over my brain. <laughs> but just because I do agree with certain things, like I said, I I think when I looked at the videotape again of the young lady, I still think that when you're in a situation, talking more and being difficult doesn't make things better. I'm not saying that you should bow down to the man or do any of that, but right. all that extra doesn't make it better. But seeing that guy put his, there's no reason for your hand to need to go around someone's neck. That that was a problem. And well, that yeah, was when you're in, under arrest, it, hands never go around necks. <clears throat> that just, that looked very bad. And it definitely was, um, think about it, like people are so quick to call things racial. He could have just been an asshole. He might have done that to a white woman. We don't know. We assume that he would only do that to a black woman, and that could be the case, but there's just no way of knowing that. What I do know is that was totally inappropriate, and he should be fired. I still think that, you know, women should be called when there are situations like that, especially when a woman's clothes are coming off. It looks horrible. But I don't want viewers to think that we were saying that it was the young woman's, that she deserved to be treated that way, because that's not the case. I do think that we can do things to exasperate the situation and that might have been what happened but he was 100% wrong so I, I, I don't disagree that he was wrong but do you think that if a woman had come and, and then two women had her on the ground like that that'd be okay I don't think anyone should have their hand around your neck when you're being arrested what if they're not, you're not if you're not arresting you're not being arrested but well. the, and they're like a protocol for how you get a person under control does, does choking them I mean that that's choking someone can kill them and that that leads to death well, there, I don't know well, certain kinds of choking is prohibited from police officers I think any kind of a choking should be prohibited well again though what what do what would, what would you do if you choke? were what would you do if you were in that situation if I was the cop or yes, if I was if you the were person? the cop I think there's a way to restrain someone Give me an example. I don't. I don't do that. That's not what I do. So I don't know. But I do know that putting my. Well, hands... you've been in a tussling match with somebody. I've either. never been in a tussling match. I told you, I'm a. I'm a good girl. I've never done that. I mean, short, short, of, short of the cops say, "Hey, you know what, ma'am? Um, I could break your arm, but what I'm actually gonna do yeah, is, like, hold, on, think, hold on, hold on, hold on, like hold on. I could break your arm. What I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna give you all the time you need. Right. I'm gonna go out and sit in my car, <laughs> and when you come out, I'm gonna tase you. Like I don't. You're under arrest. Get the fuck up. Right. I think, You're under arrest. Right. Get up. I don't like that she was on the ground. I don't like that he threatened to break her arm. Yeah. I don't like that he choked he, he her. Put his but you're yeah. under fucking arrest. Yeah. It cannot, it's not going to be, pre- there's no pretty arrest. Right. There's Ugh. no dainty arrest. Well, not dainty. There's no titty top arrest. She has on a titty top, so there's a no certain, titty top we have a, a procedure for titty tops. There's no, there's no, there's no arrest procedure that makes it comfortable to be it arrested. It doesn't, it doesn't. But I do think that there, when you put your hand around someone's neck, that that's not protocol. Yeah, you know, even in a boxing match, you can't do certain things. So there, it's illegal. It's out, you know, it's, it's a flag on the play. So right. that should have been that. But that officer should be fired. And and that do, that that does definitely look racial. I don't know if that's a Waffle House thing or just to me, it's more about the police and the issue that we have with the police. Um, but I just wanted to go back and clear that up because when I would listen to it and I watched the tape over again, I just didn't want anyone to think that we were saying that she deserved that because no one deserves that. However, I do we think... We never said she deserved it. Yeah, right? I just wanted to make sure that it was clear that we didn't say that. But yeah, I'm not with the Kanye in the Make America Great. I think that he's he's smart enough to know that that suggests something that I don't think that he truly stands behind. He stands behind his money. He just is talking, and I think people giving him an audience makes it worse. So wait a minute, is he talking or is he crazy? Because you said I think two he's different- both. I think, but I think, but I, you guys have to know. I think that most people have a mental problem of some type. Right. They say one in four people have dealt with mental illness, and we're assuming that people are being diagnosed. But I think people have issue situations and circumstances can trigger things. But I think most people deal with with certain forms of mental illness at some point in their life. And I do believe that when you're on a stage as big as as Kanye is, that is just, I mean, anything that he's, we can have an off day 
And it's not going to be like you that may tweet far. something crazy and nobody's going to see it or care. Mm. But I, say, I say some pretty wild stuff. Yeah, you do. And, you know, you're not famous as Kanye, so people don't have a problem with it. But, you know, if you were... The show gets much bigger. We may get more feedback. We may get more flack for it. So yeah, but I don't care. I really don't. Yeah, but I don't, I mean, I don't because that's silly. I I don't I don't blame Kanye for speaking to his base. He's speaking to his base. He is. That's who's. The, white people have forever made these people a lot of money. Black people buy albums, but we don't buy albums like that. Kanye West got popular because of white people's dollars. Yeah. Middle America is voting. He's saying, "I'm paying attention to my base." <laughs> I don't understand what the issue is. He's not crazy. He is crazy, but not for that. That's his base. He's speaking to the people that spend money on him. He is so so. The Kardashians, all Middle America watches that shit. They pretend they like they don't, but they, they watch do. it. Well, even for Kim came out and wanted to like have his back, which I respect. I think a wife should have her husband's back. She's loyal. She was like <laughs> and you know faithful. and faithful. Well, I didn't say I know she's loyal, <laughs> um, but she came out and had his back. Actually, now you sent us the Khalees interview. With Nas, this was like a crazy celebrity it was a wild week. week. Yeah, and I, you know, that's another person. I think that we assume Nas is one of those, pro, you know, very conscious rappers, prolific. So when people heard Khalees say that he had been physically abusive, it caused like not Nas, like. I saw a lot of people saying negative shit. Yeah. Khalees is one person. She has an opinion of the way things went down. But nobody for a second believes Khalees is not a hell raiser. No. I didn't see anyone say that Khalees is a hell raiser. What Khalees is, I have absolutely. You can hear the way she talks. I know women like see, her. And you, know what's, you, know hey. what's, you know what's dangerous about this? What? Dangerous about this conversation, the way this conversation is going, is you're suggesting it didn't even go anywhere if yet. a woman is a hell is is speaks up for herself. No, nope. that may mean that she deserves oh, or that no. or that the, the situation is not. I just want to make heard, sure that you we're heard clear something. with that. No, but you heard something that wasn't there. You can't there. say, well, okay, I'm saying that, a hellraiser. That has nothing to do. Well, with- we have one person's opinion, and it doesn't mean that he's guilty. It doesn't mean he's guilty, but it does. It Especially does suggest, coming from someone who is a hellraiser, there have to be more questions. See, that's that's that, that she has she said to do herself that she fights and she does all this too. She was acknowledging that the two of them fight together. Yeah, well, that, her, that means she's fighting, right? Yeah, Am I that, wrong? Yeah, she said okay. that she did. She so, admitted so, it. So what I'm saying is I'm not saying that I'm absolving Nas of any wrongdoing ever. I'm not saying he doesn't beat women. Right. What I'm saying is, Khalees, is that at least. what I'm saying is that Khalees is one person and she doesn't get the ability to just damn someone because she's the woman. It it doesn't work that way for me. Just because she said he did it does not mean that he did it. Here's here's what I find very interesting about that interview and the reason why I didn't want to give you any of my bias prior to you doing it. Mm-hmm. Did you watch the entire interview? I watched the entire interview. Okay. It was very long. Yeah. So in the very beginning, it would seem like a good interview. Mm-hmm. Then little gay dude just let her start telling her story and it changed. Okay. First of all, you did not have to say that. Okay. You don't know his sex. I mean, maybe you do know his sexual orientation, but that is not important. What that to do is on love hip hop. But, but what is that even important to the to the discussion? Because it's part of that same old narrative. Oh my Here's the God. thing. I'm just gonna let girl. I'm gonna let you talk, girl. And she did. And she, she just did. talked. And she just started. It got more and more wild and more and more loose. I'm like, but she kept Hold saying on. that when I woke up this morning, <laughs> I was right. like, I'm done. Right. But this here's. It. But no. But that's bullshit. That's where it's bullshit. I call bullshit. It got loose. It got very, very loose. And I'm wondering to myself, what is the motivation behind this interview now? Because in the beginning, it made sense. Now, one time did she say the reason why she didn't want to come forward and say anything was because Nas is is fucking Nas. Right. His music deserves a place in history, and she didn't want to tarnish that. She's talking about some selfish shit. Like, I didn't want to be looked at as the, uh, the angry black woman. That's not selfish. No, I that is, because that. she didn't want to look like an idiot. I can feel but, that. But, I wouldn't want to be... But, because people do... People do assume if a woman is not with a man anymore and she says something, that she's saying it because she's bitter. Right. And she's saying that because she's trying to get back at him. But we're talking about Nas, one of the best rappers ever. She never what mentioned... what does that have to do with Because she never, to me, it personally, she never mentioned that she didn't want to... The reason why she held this back was because of him, his craft. But maybe Be- she doesn't see that. Maybe that's Fine. not her reality. Exactly. And that's why I started paying more attention. And when we got to the end of the interview, now we get the pay dirt. Now we know why she came on this morning. She decided, I'm done. No, actually... Actually, I've invested in a corporation that's about to start doing this, this, and that for women who are, so oh, so all this long ass interview, all this years, I've never said anything about Nas. I never will. All those interviews, we're fucking that now because now I invest in a company that's gonna that's gonna pay, give women money 
in situations like the one I just told you about. But I mean, she Hold was on. obviously working on this before that interview. No, 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 no. <laughs> this to me ended up being an advertisement for that new venture she's doing. And I didn't at first, man, I'm telling you, I was I was live, I was live uh slacking it in my slack room. I was live slacking it. I was like, man, those tears seem authentic. Mm. Like I'm really sympathizing for And Khalees. now you don't think they were they were No, they were. But that's that's where the, the that's where the real interview ended and the loose shit started. The loose shit. When she came back from those tears, that's when the loose shit started. He dude let her go and she went. And then at the end, it all comes down to, oh, by the way, I have a corporation for this this very problem, and I want you guys to know about well, it. I mean, okay, but can we can we can we acknowledge that maybe out of someone else's hurt, there are a lot of women that go through domestic violence situations or even just being left. And they, I actually, there's a young lady that I talked to this past weekend with a very famous guy. He did some very horrible things. She's right. working on a book to come out and talk about it. And Can't she wants wait. to help other women. She wants to help other women deal with that issue. I don't think. From that- her book. <laughs> She's the genius because it happened to her one time in her life. It happened for her, to her on, through man. an entire relationship. This is a friend of yours? I, it, I, you know what? <laughs> Look, I was with Khalees. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all don't believe me because you think I'm a misogynist probably. I was sympathizing with the, uh, Khalees. I was like, man, that's that's tough. She gets to the house and he's like, fuck you, fuck you or whatever. Yeah. Fuck off or whatever he said. Fuck off. Whatever. Yeah. I was like, man, this is awful. But then it just started, it just, it took a turn for me. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I'm hearing But these- were you looking for the turn? I always I feel like lo- you were looking I, for no, the no, turn. No. Like, I would, I'm how, telling what can you, I hear from her that's going to discredit yes, what she went because through? Because when somebody who's not been on media talking about this for many, many years decides to finally come out, there is a but reason. But she didn't talk, period, though. Khalees hasn't really talked She does at interviews. All, but she hasn't talked about this situation at all. Yeah, right. She hasn't talked about yeah. it at all, right? So yeah. then why now? That's what I'm asking. And had, mm-hmm. she, had she just wanted to say, you know what? I just want to tell my side of the story. I feel like, you know, the world sees Nas this, this one thing, but he's actually something else. To me, I would have, I would have completely been on her side for that. But, but when she, but maybe she doesn't see him that way. Doesn't matter. No, no. She, she says she sees him that way. She did. She did. When, but I'm just saying, she, maybe she, maybe her perspe- perception, because she said that she doesn't care about, she doesn't care about the, 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 the look of things. He does. She made a point to say. So that, then, why did she bring up the Thanksgiving dinner? You see, what I'm saying like it was some petty was, shit too. No, that wasn't petty. Man, come she was on. showing that she allowed him to come to Thanksgiving dinner still, which was benevolent on her part. So Nas had nowhere to go for Thanksgiving. I mean, I did kind of have a hard time believing on, man. that. I kind of thought, yeah, he probably he could have came over else. here. You know, she's like he doesn't know how to cook. I'm like, I'm sure he don't need a to lot know of how to girls cook. Would be happy to have Nas come. All I'm saying, come over for Thanksgiving. Had it just been a bit, it had it just been a tell. Like I want to tell him, you know, for so many years people have been looking at me like the bad guy. Right. I want to get this off my chest because I'm not the bad guy. But maybe that's not. Maybe that wasn't her motivation. We don't know that. Right. We know what her motivation was at the very end. I don't think that that was her motivation. I, I don't. I watched the interview it was really long it, it was a lot going on it was. I don't think it was just because of that it was a I bird flying we'll through see, the backyard and stuff <laughs> it was a I lot going on I doubt that we'll see this organization really take off I mean maybe she's gonna put a lot I mean probably not <laughs> it's probably just something that something she's gonna get y'all invested in at first and then next thing you know I don't know now she's a great person though. I don't know I don't know I don't know Khalees personally I do feel like the interview was staged because of the the corporation. See, I don't know if that's the case, but I, what I got out of it, and especially in this climate, is that we have assigned Nas a disposition and personality based on the type of music that he makes. I don't. Even hearing him, her say that he was really bothered and it tries to look a certain way and, and bothered with her speaking to Jay-Z and just always trying to, you know, have his Okay, image. I'm sorry. Before I forget, please, mm-hmm. please. I was seeing, so on social media, people saying... Uh, Khalees says Nas hit her when she when she spoke to Jay Z. That is not that's not what she said on the interview. Not at all. That's not. What but she that's said. what people are are sending to me. Yeah. Kevin actually sent that to us. Oh, he hits her and he sent yeah. that clip. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's this not is what where, she said. and that's not her fault. Yeah. She didn't do that. People kind of pushed those sound bites together because she said that all she said was that he had an issue when she said hello to him. Right. But then later she mentioned that there was there was hitting, but people put those two together to make it seem. Bigger than life. And then like she course, said, hated Jay Z and, and he then punched he, yeah, the shit out so, of her yeah, or something. But, but I mean, we didn't even think Nas was, Nas seems so cool. I just think there's danger in people assuming that 
we're one that even celebrities are one dimensional. True. So because Nas is a very prolific and and like you said, his music is um, is very conscious. That doesn't mean that he doesn't have other layers as well as we all do. So I just think that there's a there's a danger with celebrities because we really do assign people a personality based on their work. You know, most most musicians, especially before social media, you hear, you know, confessions and you think Usher is that person and that's not necessarily the case. You watch a TV show and you think that person is that character. I remember Michael Beach saying that the guy in um, Soul Food and, and, uh, and Waiting to Exhale that cheated on Angela Bassett and Angela Bassett, you know, goes to him and she's like, 11 years and you do this to me. Like he would walk on the street and people would hate him because of that <laughs> character. <laughs> right, right, so right. I think that too many times we we kind of assign people something and we have to realize that, that celebrities are people too. And just like we all have dimensions of who we are, they do as well. So, you know, Nas may not be the, the I mean, he may be, but then he also may have other parts to him as well. And we have to allow people to do that. And 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 I, I I will agree with that. I don't know that Nas is not an abusive abusive person. I'm not saying that at all. But just to hear that he may not be as secure as we we want to believe, because that's that's possible, yeah. very possible. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, interesting show. Um, definitely missed having Kevin here. We'll definitely look forward to seeing him next week. Next week. But again, you got to get better too. Yeah, I I've got a sinus situation happening here, but um, definitely want to again thank Al Nuke for coming out and um. Being our resident alpha male to join the honest. <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely have to get him back on here soon. Yeah, that's what's up. So we'll see you guys next week. All right. Music Club Life.